This robotic arm could soon be going into space with an important mission to grab old satellites and other space debris floating around the Earth's orbit. Space debris is, is a big problem for all of us. The robot's been developed by orbital debris removal startup Astroscale with a vision to create a safe and sustainable development of space. Since the start of the space age in 1957, we've had a throwaway culture in space. Astroscale UK Managing Director Nick Shave. We've put lots of objects in space and we've basically not removed them, we've not recycled them or done anything else. So there's 10,000 tonnes of debris in space, you know, near 40,000 objects all floating around in different orbits and they are causing congestion in orbit and there are collisions happening. And with no set norms for military space behaviour, some fear a potential space weapon attack that could generate far more debris. At stake are billions of dollars in assets, the orbital devices crucial to navigation and smartphone apps, text messaging, calls and internet connections that are used by industries and people globally. Governments and investors are seeking solutions and investing in ways to tackle the messy orbital environment. Tokyo-based Astroscale, with subsidiaries in the US and Britain, is one of them. The company is testing a device known as Active Debris Removal, or ADR. It's designed to latch onto defunct satellites and drag them towards Earth's atmosphere for a fiery disposal. But this isn't an easy task. Astroscale is looking at how to refuel satellites while they're still in space. Right now, when a satellite runs out of fuel, its mission is over. Shave says the company hopes to have an ADR craft in orbit within the next couple of years. We're looking at getting to orbit with this spacecraft towards the end of 2026 and into 2027. So that's the sort of time frame that we are looking at doing this type of uh, debris removal or refueling type technology.